Friday, those gusty downpours and the Keys uh, may start to have those winds gusting to 40 miles per hour. What should we do with this armadillo? Like, comment, hit the rest subscribe button if you're new. Hey, hurry up for duck and goats. I guess armadillos too. going on good morning how's everybody doing as you can see we're in the back over here in the backyard there's something rummaging the yard and eating the mangoes we're not quite sure what it is but my cousin said they did see something weird like kind of scurrying underneath these cars and stuff these boats I think we're gonna set a trap and see what animal this is but my cousin said it, it, it didn't seem like anything he's ever seen back here before. Huh. This is the, the, the game trail right here that he's running. You can see where he's been moving. So he's moving up and down this fence line and he's coming right to the mangoes to eat them. So I think we're gonna set a trap right here and we're gonna put a mango in it. We might set two traps, try to figure out what type of creature is actually coming in the yard and stealing the mangoes. Whatever it was, was here last night. This is all fresh. Okay, there goes the trap. I'm gonna go ahead, put this bait in here. That. Boom. I think right here is a good spot. Okay, I'm gonna put it right there. Open the trap. Uh, set the mechanism right here. And hopefully this animal keeps going along this fence, finds that mango again, goes right into the trap. And hopefully we catch this silly animal. All right, guys. It's been a couple hours. Let's go ahead and check this trap. Oh. M G. It's an armadillo. Wow. Is he asleep? Hey, buddy. What on earth? Wow. Sheesh. That is weird. Wow. Talk about a uh, first. <laughs> Never thought I was going to trap this guy. Hey, guy. What you doing? You silly armadillo. All right. Yeah, look at him. He's like in some kind of shell. It looks like a little pig. Like, you know Piglet from Winnie the Pooh? Yeah, that's what he looks like. Look at him. He's, I think he's trying to dig. Now, if I'm not mistaken, uh, armadillos are in the same family as like anteaters or something like that. Not quite sure. We're going to do some more research. But, look, oh, but believe it or not, where I'm from, they actually call armadillos tattoo. That's what they call it. Like a tattoo, like, you know, like you get a tattoo, but not this type of tattoo. They call these things tattoos. For what reason, I have no idea. And apparently these guys are delicacies. People actually eat them. So I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do with them. We are gonna go ahead, put them in the shade. I'm gonna call my uncle and see what he thinks we should do with them. It's like a turtle rabbit. Look at it. it. Looks like a rabbit, but it's got a shell like a turtle. That's weird. Look at that shell. Super weird. Apparently these guys don't have the best eyesight, but they got a great sense of smell. Guys, drop some comments and let me know what should we do with this armadillo? Yeah, I didn't know we had these out here too, Will. Not necessarily.
I'm gonna go straight for the big one. I got him, he's alpha. Got him! Okay, so after talking with my uncle and them, we've actually decided that we might actually do a catch, clean, and cook on that armadillo. Apparently in Trinidad, they eat these things all the time. They call them tattoo, and it's a real delicacy. So, my uncle and them, like I said, they don't want no pests around here. He's back here right now, cleaning up the backyard where that animal was. Trying to see if there's any holes or anything. You know, gotta make sure we maintain the property. So, the good news is we caught the mystery animal. And the other good news is, looks like we're gonna have some armadillo curry, Trinidadian style. What we call tattoo, or in Trini they say tattoo. Sooner or later, it will be tat ten. <laughs> All right. One last thing to do. Put them in a bag. Another important thing we're gonna do too, since we just harvested them. We're gonna go ahead and freeze them, just so if there's any parasites, any germs, any bacteria, we're gonna freeze them for two days, that's gonna kill any of that, okay? And it's also gonna, you know, keep the meat fresh until we're ready to cook it. We got a bunch of family coming out this weekend, so this guy might be the star attraction to the party. It's Sunday, we got storms. Shoot, we might as well go see if we can cook, cook that tattoo. Boys and girls, we got a wet one this afternoon. Sheesh. I mean, it was hot today, but now look at it. It's like we're in like, like hurricane season. It's for real out here, man. I guess it's really coming. I've been watching the news, and you guys know it's been getting hot. This is just Mother Nature out here in Florida. Wow. When it comes down, it comes down. Look at that. We got a mini lake in the back, boys. Hey, so guess who showed up to the party? Captain Eric was What's in town. On, What's up, buddy? That's right. Dude good fishing day yeah man yeah. back here in the tropics phenomenal day check out our birds over here our tropical birds oh yeah look at that wait is that flamingo oh that's not is a flamingo it? wait some mangoes oh mangoes mangoes <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, check it out. So we're gonna cook a nice little uh, chicken stew right there, stew chicken. We got some rice, we got some dal. And then right here is the tattoo right here. We're gonna go ahead and get him all organized, get him seasoned, chopped up, ready for the pot, all right? It's a rainy day special out here, y'all. The weather is changing drastically day by day. Look at this right here. We got flamingos, we got thunderstorms. It's insane, guys, all right? Just earlier today, it was sunny as heck. Now look at it. We about to have floods. Curry Arm for duck and goats. I guess armadillos too. Okay. Roast gear. Some roast gear or two. All right. Real Trinidad and star right here. We'll make it tell you. Well, how old were you the first time you cooked one of these? About 19. <laughs> Captain Harry, what do you? How does it? How's it looking in here, man? Looks good. Looks good. Look, check this out. Check this out. Look how good this looks. Just let it marinate in all the spices, herbs. In my country, <laughs> this is how we eat. Most diverse country. That is true. Yeah. Yeah. Brown sugar. We got a thing of homemade simple syrup. A brownie. There we go. That's the color we want. Beautiful caramelization right there in that sugar. Smoking hot too. We got the tattoo in the pot and the curry. We're gonna go ahead and let this thing get up to temperature, let it bubble up. Yeah, what if you, uh, people throughout the United States, they'd be eating them, huh? Probably in the southern states, right? Like Louisiana, uh, Texas. I'm a buddy in Texas, he's a lot. Honestly, wherever you can find them. Right, right. The key is, is how to clean them to get the game taste out of them. They've probably been eating them for a long time and passed it on to generations to generations, you know? Absolutely, man. Sheesh. It just yeah. smells phenomenal. It smells yeah. great. Black American? Yeah. He came from um, Ocala. Ocala, yeah. And he comes to his family over here in um, Port St. Lucie, and they tell him try it. He said, no, he want a um, burger cake. And he buy two burgers, one for him and one for his wife. They always push in the place by him. Push him. He told me he when he when he get when he when he get it and sat it, he didn't have none for nobody. He got all. Dude, <laughs> that answers our question right there. So just trying a piece of this uh, this armadillo and uh, supposedly he enjoyed it. Whoa! I mean, from the beginning to end, I mean, the preparation on this is definitely looking really good. I'm enjoying just smelling it, seeing it. And I can't wait to eat it. It does not smell gamey. 
you know, he cleaned it very well. Yeah, it was it was great. Came out white, man. Yeah. Looked like a rubino. Up, we're going to put the lid. We might add some water. We're just going to speed this whole process up. Uh, probably about 45 minutes we'll be back. That's when it should be fully cooked and tender. All right, so we'll see you guys then. While our armadillo cooks, I decided to do a little fishing. Went to one of my favorite spots, and with this tropical storm, shoot, a lot of water equals current, hopefully equals fish. <laughs> what happened there? A little too anxious. <laughs> or a little too aggressive on the hook set. That was a bite. Fish on. Fish on. Right against the pylon. All right, got him in. All right, we're bringing him right in. Big carpet. There he goes. Sheesh. Wow. Heart is pumping. This is a hard place to fish. Check this out. It's a labyrinth of pylons. So many snags, so many ways. We had that fish way longer. We got him up to right here. All we had to do was flip him up right here. He jumped and uh, I guess he broke off, but there are plenty more, so let's rig up another bait, see if we can get one up close and personal for the camera. Water, thank you. They live in the salt water. They come out here and they get trapped. But just like other game fish, they love structure, current, and live bait. This guy right here is not that big, but it's about a five pounder. He's about a five, 10 pounder. Put up a really good fight. Whoa, he's still fighting. Still fighting. All right, y'all, check it out. We got us a tarpon under the bridge after the storm. It's a big fish. But it's time that we send this guy back where he belongs. Be free, my friend. Oh. <laughs> All right. That is left. That's the only thing left of our friend, Mr. Tarpon. Just some scales. I think I might just grab one for good luck. Yeah, that was pretty, pretty, pretty wild, man. I mean, uh, it's really tough battling fishes. See, there's so many pylons. There's at least 20 of them out there. It's like a labyrinth, uh, you know, perfect ambush territory for these giant fish. But, um, hey, we had them on for a little bit. We almost had them. It's just, you know, drop some comments and let me know uh, if I should upgrade the tackle. Right now, I'm using a medium action ugly stick, uh, six foot, one piece, medium action, uh, spooled with uh, 12 pound mainline uh, monofilament with a 20 pound uh, floral leader. So uh, drop some comments and let me know what kind of bridge setup I should use for underneath the bridge for these tarpon and snook. Hurricane season coming out here. So, you know, there's gonna be a lot of action with these fish. <laughs> yes, sir, Ski. Check it out. We're with the homie Josh. Look what we got. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, line cut. Oh, man, hold on. He's huge, dude. Look at that snook right there, y'all. Let's go, baby. Got us a nice fat snook under the bridge. Local, y'all. We don't got to go to Miami, Hollandale, or the Keys to get it done. Look at that fish right there. Shit! That is a slab. It is snook season though. Uh, well, he's he's under, so we're gonna go ahead and send him on his way. I'm gonna kiss him. Alright, good. Oh, whoa! Not the most graceful release, but there he goes.
Uh-huh. See that big one inside it? Yeah. Wow, well, looks like it's uh, looking good, man. It's bubbling up. Sheesh, look at that, cooking up nice. Armadillo right here, it's been cooking for the last 45 minutes. Check it out, look at this, come here. We added some water, we put the lid on it. We did that a couple times just to get it nice and soft. Now there's one more final step. Chef Willie, what's the step now, last step? Coconut milk. Coconut milk. We got the flavor. We got to add that inside here, right? Yes. Okay. And that coconut milk right there should add another layer of like flavor to it. I'm guessing, yes. right? Yes. Like a sweetness, uh, maybe a little earthiness to it or something too, right? Yes. Good, right? Make it, make it, it very ma good. It makes a big difference, right? With the flavor and just like part of the tradition of this meal. Like I said, the people in Trinidad, right? This is like one of the most prized meats you can eat out there. Everybody, everybody, everybody loves to eat tattoo and armadillo. But remember, to catch these things, you have to go in the jungle and the forest where it's real dangerous. Snakes, caiman, quicksand, bunch of stuff out there. Land, landslides, you never know when you're in the, in the forest out there. In the bag. Heat game seven right now. Eastern Conference uh, Finals. Some chow right there, some chow man. For all y'all people in India. Garlic, salt. I don't know what the oil is. Is this vegetable oil? One of the wildest things I've ever seen, Will. I'm not gonna lie, man. I've seen curry pork before, I've seen curry lobster before. We, we did the hasa, we did that, we did the maniku, but this right here, boy, this might take the, the, the cake right here for the top. Most intriguing, most bizarre thing, though, man. Look at this. It looks like pork with like, like tortilla shells in it or something like that, like taco shells. Look at that. Or lobster, I don't know, it's like white too. They go come over me straight up. Yeah, man. After the boil, right? Yeah. So this like so so no. Looking at it though, do it look like it could be the like the conch, the black conch? It is. It is. Yeah. But yeah, small version. The one in Trinidad or this one? The one in Trinidad is large. Bigger. Yeah, it's like big, big. But we got to make sure it's the same thing though, you know? Yeah. Right? Yeah, we need that. Tell the Trini viewers at home, is this a black conch, a river conch? Drop some comments and let me know. Tell the people out here, let me know if this is safe to eat though. I know the birds eat them, you know, the ibises. Oh yeah. Birds eat these all yeah. day. In Trinidad, we eat something like this, but it's bigger though. But let us know if it's the same thing. It got, it, it, you see how, how much curry was in it before, but you see how it got nice and thick, right? That is interesting right there. All right, it's my first time eating this. So real quick, I'm just gonna grab a couple pieces right quick, right? We're gonna grab a piece right here with the shell on it. Um, I want a piece with the tail. The tail looks interesting. Let me see if I can find a piece of that. That's the foot. I don't think I wanna eat the foot. There's a piece of the tail right there. Okay, cool. And maybe a piece without shell. Maybe a piece of the shell. I mean, I'm going to get another piece right there with the shell on. The shell everywhere. Really like the 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 shell. Technical. That looks really, really good. Oh, we got, we got our Uncle Willie right here. We got our other uncle right here. 
I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try a piece of this top two. You wanna grab a piece? Here, will you wanna grab a piece? Bro? I wasn't in the experimental stages. Eh? I saw them. I came. I saw. Now I am conquering. Who hmm. conquered? Will, me and Will. You what? Will. I didn't see you in any part of the after of the preparation, so really. However, William, excellent. Excellent. And this is a part of the food chain that we are neglecting. So I hope you folks watching will tell your friends, tell everybody this. Very good meat. Very nutritional meat. And enjoyable. It's right off the shelf, huh? I didn't hold back. I'm over here thinking if I'm gonna eat it like that. He just eating it like he's eating an oyster or something. It's right off the shelf. All right, unks. No Texaco, no BP. Try it, right, unks. I'm gonna go ahead and try this right quick. No, no Texaco, no BP, just straight shell. Shell. No BP, no Texaco, shell. Shell. Okay, let me try shell. this thing right here, boy. You see, there, 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 there's a sort of um, film on the shell that's very nice. You know? Hmm. So, it's crustacean. So it's like crab and so. You get the benefit. With good cooking, of course. Really? Sure. Hmm. This is very interesting, boys and girls. The kind of like flavor I'm getting, really, honestly, it tastes like dark meat chicken. Yes. Like like chicken thigh or chicken leg, like that, right? Got a nice little richness to it, juiciness, soft. Just tastes just like chicken. Yeah, that's very nice. That's Look at the fell though. Look at this. Yeah. This is what my uncle was talking about. Look how there's like some kind of film on there. Yeah. Like some kind yeah. of like, like some kind of thick kind of like grease on there. Maybe that might be some. Uh, I don't know. Some something from the shell. It's nutritional. It's nutrition. <laughs> some nutrition it's from nutrition. the shell. <laughs> because mm. I enjoyed it. I mean, I had it before, but preparation is the important thing with this. Right? It's, it's a meat that not anybody could prepare. But folks, get somebody to prepare tattoo for you. Maybe you could come and check out Willie. True. Very, very good. True, very true, good. true. Abs absolutely. No, no. I'm getting like pork vibes, dark chicken vibe. Um, flavor wise, I mean, flavor yes. and texture wise, yes. just like pork and just like chicken. It's army though. It's a little strange for people like in the Western world yeah, to kind well, of wrap their yeah, mind yeah, around yeah, that, yeah, you know? Yeah. But now I see why, where they're from, and where people eat them uh, naturally part of the community now and, i see why they eat them and for you vegans well i, sh I shouldn't say vegans because you're doing meat but this is from the earth this this thing eats grass there, there are no how oh, should put it um chemicals, chemicals or, GMOs, and all, yeah. Hormones or no gm yeah, no no gm right exactly, exactly no steroids or anything right exactly straight from mother earth right exactly so he's out scrummaging around he's in the he's in he's underground he's digging up worms he's eating grass he's He's grass. hunting and stuff like that. Grass. 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 Interesting. It's grass fed. It's grass fed. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, brother. That was actually really, really good. I'm going to go ahead and you say you got sucked the shot. That's the best part, right? Yes. Yes. Really? Huh. Interesting. Okay. The shell. Suck in the shell. Now I see why you said crustacean. <laughs> it tastes like you're sucking like a lobster yeah, shell or something yeah. like that. That's incredible. <laughs> incredible. So it's like, it's like you're eating like pork or chicken in the in the flesh, but then the shell, you get the sweetness and flavor of crabs or lobsters. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. That's some good eats right there. That's if we thought of the black food and thing, oh, I would need that. To be. Watch it. Yes, watching it, you might make me feel like, how could I eat that? So don't watch it. Yep. Just eat it. <laughs> Just eat it. Get somebody to bread. And, and funny thing, funny thing too. I call my, I call my grandmother and I told her that we caught a, a armadillo or a tattoo, mm -hmm. and she was excited. She's like, "Wait, boy!" She's like, "Why didn't you catch one when I was there?" She wanted to eat one, you know. She wanted to eat one. My my grandma, you know. Yeah, back back home, you know, and this this was a treat, as, as we would say. One tattoo encouraged encouraged many bottles of scotch <laughs> <laughs> so in truth that though right out of all the wild meat right there tattoo, tattoo is probably one of the top right yeah yeah because it's number one it's difficult to get it's difficult to it's, get yeah, out there it's difficult to get but, you know god endowed all these animals with your own creativity yeah? let's start with that 
and so to catch a tattoo, you got to be good. You got to be good to catch yeah. tattoo. You know the, the other. This is, this, yeah, they, there's a lot of hunting trends, especially in the, the the region of it. Is in right. the in the jungle out there is dangerous. Yeah, high yeah, yeah, elevation, yeah, yeah, miles yeah, away yeah, from hospitals, venomous yeah. snakes. So it's a very dangerous meat, but it's a very highly sought after meat over there. So it was it was it was just a random coincidence that we actually trapped this armadillo. We came out here, we seen son eating the mango, left the trap. Lo and behold. There was an armadillo in there, and then, mm -hmm. like I said, we were gonna release him, but you know, my uncle was like, "Man, you know, you got a smart uncle." Yeah, I got. A smart <laughs> uncle. Yeah. Captain Eric here, and we got the chef here today. And I'm um, gonna try it. Cheers. Yeah, that that looked like it took you no effort to eat that, Will. Like butter, right? Armadillo. Hmm. Super fresh. It's good. You know, I, when I first ate it, I was expecting a gamey flavor, a, a slight gamey flavor. You know? Nothing. Nothing. No, no gamey flavor. Tastes just like chicken. And pork. It was, it was cleaned very well. Oh yeah. Slow cooked. I mean, got the armadillo shell there. Still, still eating it. Dude, it was, really it, was it was cooked to perfection. Let's see this right here. It really is. But let's hope. Oh, you just do that. This will be like right there. Oh, so you, you eat in between the shells? Yeah. Mm. Oh, I need it in between the shell then. In Watch. between the shells. See it? Watch. Let's see. Oh. And I'm guessing in between the shells, I, I guess their shells made out of keratin or something like that. So in between there is just probably full of collagen, you know? Collagen, yeah. keratin. Let me see that right mm. there. This is oh, so good. Oh, so fresh. fresh. Look at that right there. Wow. Oh, yeah. Right. I got some shell right yeah. here, too. Yeah. What I realized, too, is like the coconut milk, it definitely enhances a little bit of sweet sweetness to it. You taste, but eating the shell, though, you can taste it has a little crabbiness to it, right? little sweetness to it yeah it does it does taste pretty sweet look at that you it's just excellent guy it's, it's excellent you just eat it and then you just you eat it right off the shell and it's super soft right it's super soft it's cooked very well it's perfect um no complaints here armadillo first time of many what are you doing you eating the rest of that? Started. You eating the rest of that armadillo, man? Yeah, I had to finish what I started. Man, you ripped these things apart. They really are good. Sheesh. Hey, finish up because we got another treat for you to try, right? I have to take my time here, okay? All right, but this is phenomenal. Okay, so we got one more treat. We're gonna try today another Trinidadian delicacy. Woo! That right there is something called sauce, my friend. That's very nice. I just want a piece of the pigtail. You want to try this, Eric? Absolutely. No chicken foot? All right. This is your bowl right here, right? Works for me. <laughs> yeah, I never tried this before. I always seen people eating it, turned out. I thought you ate it cold, but apparently you eat it hot. Mm. It, it tastes what? like, um, like hot sauce. Let's get a piece of that. Chicken foot right there. Yeah. You ever had chicken feet before? Uh, no, no, but you never had chicken foot. No, I haven't. I never had, dude. But you know what? It's, it's a learning experience. It's good. You know, I'll, I'll taste the um, like the fat from it. Not much meat on there. More like fat, like collagen skin and stuff? I yeah. Think it's a pigtail right there. Yeah, I think it's the same thing right here. Cut a piece of that off. But I can tell you the flavor is really good. It tastes like hot sauce. Mm. It's got some spice to it, huh? Yeah. This, this spice is perfect. It's got cucumbers in there, too. It's weird. It's like, not weird, but it's different, you know? It's really good. It's really good. Yo, I'm about to try some, too, real quick, right? Yeah. Good. Mm. That's good. It's like a nice, savory, spicy broth right there. Yeah. Just coats the back of your throat and stuff like that. Excellent flavor. 
got perfect amount of spice. It does. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm. And the flavor is very complex. Like they, I guess they had it in a pressure cooker. They got, you know, super hot in there. Check this out. This is a pigtail. Look at this. Falls right off the bone, bro. Everything does. It's so good. Mm. Phenomenal. It's like waking me up right now drinking this. All right, boys and girls, we are gonna wrap it up right here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, hit the red subscribe button. We're gonna eat some more sauce. We got the heat game going on. I'm gonna finish my armadillo. Drop some comments and let me know if you would ever eat the armadillo, all right? The tattoo, let me know, guys. Pretty weird, but honestly, after trying it today, I might look twice if I see armadillo. I would eat it. It was cooked perfectly. Yeah. I mean, we had a professional here cleaning it. No game taste to it. It's all right off the bone with that co the curry and the coconut yeah, milk, I'm, boy. I'm gonna have, I'm perfect. Gonna have another plate of it, honestly. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah. Right, some little bonus footage for y'all. Eric gonna try the tail. Yeah. He said he can't wait. He doesn't want to go back to the pot. He just wants to try the tail. He's just gonna try it out. Yeah, it's kind of like an oxtail, bro. Yeah. Well, like, with a hard shell. Yeah, with a hard. Crab shell on his side. Let's just break that free. Let's get it out of there. I don't want it. Oh. That's good. I gotta get more of it. You just ate. You just ate <laughs> All right, guys. We're gonna wrap it up right there. He just ate a whole armadillo tail in one bite. Yeah, I was gonna say there's a bone in there, dude. A little vertebrae. Never hurt anybody. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go get some more. Wait, uh, boy. We got it. We just read up. That boy is doing something revolutionary now. That's a real Trinity there. <laughs> That's a real Caribbean stuff right there. He's doing, he doing justice to the cooking. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing justice to the cooking. Funniest thing I've seen today, dude, what you just did. You put sauce with a curry, armadillo, and rice. What the? <laughs> You know what's funny? It's really good. <laughs> I know. This is no joke. This is so good. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've seen all day, dude. I don't even know you can do that. But you did it, man. Yeah. That armadillo is good, though, bro. It is. No gamey flavor to it. It's so good. All right, boys and girls, we're going to call it a day. Drop some comments and let me know if you would ever eat an armadillo. Yeah, I would. All right, a tattoo. Drop a comment right now. Let me know, guys. It's the Iguana Man with Captain Eric. We'll see you guys on the next adventure. Peace. Thanks to my boy at Texas Jungle. He was supposed to get me on my first armadillo, but we ended up catching ourselves. But no. Nah. Shout out to my boy Texas Jungle, though. He be eating armadillos, too. But look at that right there, boys. Like I said, drop a comment. Let us know if you would try this. The shelled beast. Yo. Wow. Game seven with a trip to San Francisco. Oh.